Hey church, welcome to God Time. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, I wanted to share with you a passage that I've recently shared with the staff, but I thought, man, this is so good. I, I want to share it with you guys as well. Uh, it's Mark chapter 12, starting in verse 2. This is what scripture says. After a few days, Jesus went back to Capernaum, and people heard that he was home. So many gathered that there was no longer space, not even near the door. Jesus was speaking the word to them, and some people arrived, and four of them were, were bringing him, a man who was paralyzed. They couldn't carry him through the crowd, so they tore off part of the roof above where Jesus was. When they had made an opening, they lowered the mat on which the paralyzed man was laying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Child, your sins are forgiven. Some teachers of the law were sitting there, muttering among themselves, Why does he speak this way? He's insulting God. Only the one God can forgive sins. And Jesus immediately recognized what they were discussing. And he said to them, Why do you fill your minds with these questions? Which is easier, to say to a paralyzed person, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and take your bed and walk. But so you know that the human one has the authority to give, the authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the man who was paralyzed, Get up, take your mat, and go home. Jesus raised him up, and right away he picked up his mat and walked out in front of everybody. They were all amazed and praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. Now, I don't want to gloss over what just happened here, you know, the gravity of what happened. These men, they had such unusual, exceptional compassion for their friend that they drug him to someone else's roof, cut a hole in the roof, and lowered him down into the middle of the room so that he could be with Jesus. One of the things that we miss about this, you know, we, we often talk about this passage and we talk about how, you know, Jesus forgives sins before he uh, heals the man physically or about how, um, you know, the Pharisees are criticizing him, but he is God. He is the one God. And so he shows his power. But what we often miss is this exceptional compassion from these friends. You know, these friends, they, they love their, their paralyzed friends so much that they do whatever it takes to get him to Jesus and to get him into a place where they think he's going to benefit and, and he's, he's, going to, he's going to be better because of this. And given what's going on in our world today, I would encourage you to think about who in your life needs exceptional compassion in the way that we see here in Scripture. You know, much of, of being a follower of Jesus is loving God and loving others. And that exceptional compassion is a really important part of loving others. Let me pray for you. Lord, I pray that you would open our eyes today to who in our life needs exceptional compassion, compassion in the way that we see illustrated in Scripture. God, open our eyes to, to who we need to reach out to, that uh, they need us to cut a hole in a roof. They need us to remove a barrier, or they need us to serve them in some way. Uh, God, we want to love you. We want to love others. Open our eyes and empower us to do that well. We love you, Lord. Amen.